Welcome to Dr. Arke's classes. Let us discuss a very important method called symmetry method to find effective resistance of a given circuit. Before going to the symmetry method, consider a simple circuit where two resistors R1 and R2 connected in series. We know that when the two resistors are in series, the current flowing through them is same. That is V1 by R1 is equal to V2 by R2 and potential divides potential divides so V is equal to V1 plus V2 if you simplify the above two equations V1 is R1 by R1 plus R2 into V V2 is R2 by R1 plus R2 into V if you Consider the two branches P, Q, R, S connected to a battery of voltage 30 volts. The potential difference between the points B and A that is VA minus VB if you apply R1 by R1 plus R2 into V we get the 10 volts. Similarly the potential difference between A and D is also 10 volts. If I subtract these two if I subtract these two VB minus VD is equal to 0 I will get that is potential B is equal to potential at D okay. that is if P by Q is equal to R by S the potential at B the potential at this point B is equal to the potential at D even if you connect a resistance between B and D there is no current flowing through it this condition that is P by Q is equal to R by S the potential at B is equal to potential at D is called Wheatstone Bridge condition. It is called Wheatstone Bridge condition. Consider a circuit where two resistors R and R connected in parallel between A and B. When there is a symmetry line like this, when there is a symmetry line about AB, the potential equi equally divides and all points on symmetry line having same potential all the points on symmetry line having same potential you can also think like this when P by Q is equal to R by S the potential at C is equal to potential at D even if you connect a resistance the resistance R between C and D there is no current is flowing because when you connect a cell between A and B the point C and point D are at same potential. This is the basic principle behind a symmetry method. Let us find the effective resistance between A and B in the circuit. Okay? So here the point C and D are at same potential because P by Q is equal to R by S. Okay. The potential at C is equal to potential at D. There is no current flowing through this resistor. We can remove it. Then the above two are in series. That is 2R, 2R. The effective resistance between A and B is R. If you consider the next circuit, if you consider the next circuit. Okay. So again the point C and point D are at same potential and there is no current flowing in this resistor then 2R, 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 2R in parallel and this, this resistance again between A and B. So the effect resistance of the total circuit is R by 2. Let us find out the resistance between A and B. Okay. Here this R, this R can be split up into R by 2, R by 2 so that there is a symmetry line between C and D. This is the symmetry line. Then the potential at D is equal to potential at C. Even if you connect to the point D and C, there is no change in effect resistance between A and B. That's what they, they this circuit. Okay? This R by 2, D and C can be connected by a wire. Then these two are in parallel that is connected in series with this R so that the effect resistance between A and 
c this is a c value c is 4r by 7 then the effect resistance between c and b similarly also 4r by 7 so the effect resistance between a and b is 8r by 7 let us find out the effect resistance between a and b here the this resistor this resistor can be split up into two parts like r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 so that we have a line of symmetry between a and b that is d c e and all the points on symmetry line at same potential we can connect a wire we can connect a wire so that this circuit half of that between a and c i can write like this so this r and r by 2 are in parallel that is in series similarly this r and r by 2 are in parallel that is in series with this resistor okay now this circuit is equal into this so that effect resistance between a and c is 2r by 5 and the effect resistance between a and b double that is 4r by 5 let us find out the effect resistance between a and b here the points c d and e are at same potential if you connect a voltage v between a and b the potential equally divides so the potential at c is equal to potential at e and potential at d no current is flowing through this r to this r so the effective resistance now the effective resistance now so 2r 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 connected in parallel this is 2r this is 2r this is 2r so the effective resistance between a and b is 2r by 3 let us find the effective resistance between a and b here the point c and point d are at same potential if we connect a battery between a and b and again point e point f are at same potential if you connect a battery between a and b then there is no current flowing through this resistor and again through this resistor then the effect to circuit will be 3r 3r connect in parallel between a and b then the effect resistance between a and b is 3r by 